An industry is proposing to discharge its effluent into a nearby stream. Average design flow rates in the BOD of its wastewater in the stream are as follows. The effluent BOD removal required by the plant to meet the area's regulatory concentration limit is 84%. Find the in-stream BOD standard for the area. Is it A, 10.92, B, 9.43, C, 5.21, or is it D, 3.1? Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you completed the problem? Let's see if you got the right answer. This problem has two streams of water with different characteristics, combining to make one stream. When solving problems like this, it's important you do three things. First of all, you must account for all aspects of incoming streams, specifically the concentrations and the flow rates. Secondly, you must normalize your units so you'll be able to add and subtract them more easily. And last but not least, remember that the total flow of the incoming streams equal the flow of the new stream. So we have the first stream, which has a flow rate of one cubic meter per second and a BOD concentration of 1.8 milligrams per liter, joining the wastewater stream, which has a flow rate of 2.7 million gallons per day and a BOD concentration of 88 milligrams per liter. Remember that the flow times the concentration of stream one plus the flow times the concentration of stream two will equal the flow times the concentration of the new stream. So let's start solving for different parts of the equation. The wastewater stream's concentration before removal is 88 milligrams per liter. So with 84% removal, our new concentration after treatment will be 14.08 milligrams per liter. Using our equation, let's plug in the information that we have to see if we can solve for the concentration of the new stream. We can't right now because we have two different units for flows, cubic meters per second and million gallons per day. But using this unit conversion, we now have the same units for flows. We now plug this back into our equation. We have million gallons per day for flow milligrams per liter for concentration, and now we can solve for x. And solving this equation, we get x equals 3.1 milligrams per liter. Remember that one ppm is also equal to one milligram per liter. So our answer is D. Join us for episode four of 52PE exam.